Come, El Toro. I am the master. Ha! Toro! Meet your master today, El Toro. Viva Mexico! Ha! Toro! about the bullfights in Mexico, and I guess I got carried away. Well, cut that out before they carry me away. Just think, Dad. By this time tomorrow, we'll be in Mexico. Oh, what kicks I'm gonna get. Oh, no, you're not, young lady. You're gonna help me make a good impression on Senor Diestro and his son. They're an old aristocratic family. Okay, I'll settle for some uh, old aristocratic kicks. <laughs> How old is the son? He's two years older than you are, and get that gleam out of your eye. Now, I mean it, Margie. I wouldn't even take you along if Don Gregorio hadn't made it a family invitation. Now, that's the way they do things in Mexico, with old-world courtesy and charm. I don't know where you get all that old stuff, Dad. Look at this. Mexico City's as modern as New York. How about that Avenida de la Reforma? Smart hotels, cafes, nightclubs. I think I know what Mexico is like. Besides, we're not going to Mexico City. We're visiting the Diestros at their ancestral hacienda. But it won't be too bad. I'm, I'm taking along a, a duena for you. Well, thanks, Dad. At least I'll have something to while away the time with. What's a duena? Well, that's Spanish for chaperone. A duena is an older woman who remains by a young girl's side at all times, especially in the presence of young men. Gee, it only takes two to tango. You mean it takes three to rumba? <laughs> All right, Dad, who is this female dragon you've picked out to breathe down my neck? Yoo-hoo! Machi! <laughs> You're my duenya? How do you like the outfit? I had a rose in my mouth, but the thorns hurt my gums. <laughs> no, no, Mrs. Odette, that's not what I meant. Can't you just be an old-fashioned chaperone? Oh, sure. As long as you don't give the chaperone too many old fashions. Ole! Look, Dad, I still think this is a crazy idea. We have a perfectly good penthouse in Mexico City. Why demont this old country place for these visiting firemen? But it is the family background that counts. The rest is nothing. Una chapa. Beneath these, the old brides are aristocrats as we are and they will expect certa formality and dignity. Oh, probably an old stuffed shirt with a daughter who looks like an old Boston bean pot. Whatever they are, we need their American capital for our own business. Now look, Dad, business is business, but do you have to go into this whole Spanish done bit? I think I know what the American expects. Now, either you will cooperate and do this this way, or you will return to Mexico City for the duration of their bright visit. That's for me, Dad. Now I won't have to miss the President's ball, which is only the biggest party of the year. I was going to invite the old bright girl as a favor to you, but now I can shop around for something sensational. You and your parties. Well, perhaps it is better that way. So, vaya, I will make excuses for your absence. Thanks a million, Dan. It is a matter of self-protection, I assure you. Now, I must go to the airport and meet our bright plane. Come on, I will drop you off in the city. No, thanks. I'll drive in later. While I'm up here, I might as well get in a couple of hours hunting. The skill says the quail are as fat as butter. But good luck with your American pigeons, Padre. We have a saying in Mexico. Mi casa es la suya. My house is yours. Well, thank you, Don Gregorio. You do my family a great honor. Bienvenidos, señores. This is my faithful Esquilo, who has grown gray at the service of the diestro. He's more of a friend than servant. You see, Margie, this is old Mexico, the real Mexico. Yes, Papa. I will show you to your quarters, please. This will be your room, Senorita. Also your duena. Don Gregorio's son away on business. Guess the chaperone's just excess baggage this trip. Wouldn't you know it? In a romantic setting like this, instead of a dashing young caballero, we get chili peppers for excitement. Oh, well, there's always canasta. Excuse me. 
Senor Guido, what are you doing here? Admiring the view. Brother, is she something? But you are supposed to be away. Don Gregorio has I told... I think I've had a change in plans, Savis. Another word to my father. <clears throat> I'll handle this my way. Can't we take a powder? I'm dying for a smoke. Fine talk. Don't you know ladies know Mexico don't smoke? <laughs> Ladies, please. Now, now, Duenya. Duenya, my eye. I feel like a creep in this outfit. Hola, hola. Buenas noches, amigos. Pues bien, is there no welcome for Cousin Alfredo from Guadalajara? Válgame Dios. <laughs> Hombre, it is good to see you again, Don Gregorio. Better go along with it, Dad, for the sake of the American capital. And where is your dull-witted son? I have journeyed all the way from Guadalajara to visit. And he must be dull-witted not to be at the side of so beautiful a senorita. Well, uh, Guido, Guido is away in business, you know. I'm sorry, senor. Permit me to present my cousin Alfredo from Guadalajara, senor Albright. Su servidor. Or as you say in America, hiya. <laughs> How do you do? This is senor Albright's daughter, Margie. And Senora Odette. Encantado, Senora. If that means what I think it does. Likewise. As your esclavo, Senorita. Your slave. <coughs> oh, a thousand pardons, Senores. I have interrupted your chess game. Oh, please continue, I beg of you. Do not worry about Alfredo. I shall amuse myself. That frightening thought has already crossed my mind. Oh, please enjoy yourself, Senores. While I show Senorita Margie the garden and the special moonlight that shines over Mexico. <clears throat> uh, uh, Mrs. Odette's. Okay, one female dragon coming up. You know something? I'm sort of glad Don Gregorio's son is away on business. I'm sold on the Guadalajara branch of the family. He's what they call a kissing cousin, eh? Cuando salí de La Habana, Valga me dio. Nadie supo mi salida si no fui yo. Una linda guachinanga que allá voy yo. Que se vino tras de mí, que sí, señor. Si a tu ventana llega una paloma... I remember a man serenaded me once under my balcony, a fast 40 years ago. He tried to climb up to my room, and I called the fire department. You mean the police department, don't you? I do not. The fire department. They brought him a ladder. Un guardián celoso de te amado sueño. De te amado sueño. Now, see here, Guido. This is going too far. Maybe for Guido. But not for Cousin Alfredo. He's a gay caballero. When you run out of roses, you can throw me down. Where is he? I can't see him. Margie. Now you get back to your room and stop playing Juliet. But father dear, this is all part of the old Mexico you know and love. love. Viva old Mexico. Now cut that out. Oh, Dad, stop. Cousin Alfredo is only serenading me according to custom. There's nothing wrong with him playing his little old guitar. Well, okay, but he better keep on playing that guitar. The minute I don't hear him, I'm coming out after you, understand? <laughs> lunita, lunita, clara, quisiera ser como tú. Trick or treat. <laughs> Don't 
ask me why, but you'd better start playing your guitar. <laughs> Mrs. Odette, are you doing your duty? I sure am. <laughs> I must go to the city at once. I just received a call from the office. What a pity. You must always put business before pleasure. Colossus. Please, stop this ridiculous masquerade. I hope Senor Albright does not see through your bad play acting and your very bad accent. Then you do like what I learned at Stanford better, eh, Dad? Besides, this, this whole tourist routine was your pitch. You know, I didn't dig it from the beginning. But causing Alfredo was one of your own brilliant ideas. Well, I'll admit, when I saw Margie, I began to get ideas. <laughs> Just to see you again is to remember the heaven I saw last night. And what have you to say this morning of morning? Just one thing. I hope the next time Stanford plays in the Rose Bowl, they get clobbered. You were listening? Your channel was coming in strong and clear. The Tourist Hour, or fun in old Mexico with Guido and his singing guitar. Well, I'm glad you finally got with it, Margie. I was just going along with my father's idea. <laughs> You're forgiven. And I might add, I never quite bought that Cousin Alfredo routine. Shall we say there was a delicate aroma of ham? <laughs> oh, I thought I did pretty well on the balcony last night. Let's not go into that. Right now, we'd better keep the gag going. We mustn't let our parents find out we're smarter than they are. They've lived in that dream world so long. Say, now you can go with me to the President's Ball in Mexico City. It's only the biggest wing-ding of the year. Oh, I'd love to. Oh, dear. We've got a couple of problem parents, remember? I got a scoop for you. Dad is leaving on business this morning, so... So? That leaves Father Albright at the mercy of two crazy mixed-up kids. <laughs> As they say in old Mexico, Viva El Cinch! <laughs> you will be the master of the household in every respect. Your word is my word, and your others is my others. Entiendes, Alfredo? See, Don Gregorio, I understand. Goodbye, good health, y hasta la vuelta. Dad, I've got a marvelous idea. While Don Gregorio is away, why don't we all go into Mexico City? We'll do nothing of the sort. This is the real Mexico. But, Dad! No buts, we are not leaving this place, and that's final. Shall we make a tour of our hacienda, senora? Well... There goes our date in Mexico City. Dad's finally got his chance to live it up as Lord and Master. At last, I am a part of old Mexico. Brother. Wait a minute. If there is a part of old Mexico, he wouldn't be so hot for. Like what? Like what you see in the movies. Senorita, how would you like to see my gun collection? I'm sure that Don Gregorio won't mind my trying this on. It makes me feel more like the real thing. How do I look? Don Vernonio Albrecht, you're a doll. <laughs> Don Vernonio. That does have a nice ring to it, doesn't it? What's the idea, Alfredo? Why the uh, artillery? Oh, it is nothing, senor. El Diablo de Bandido is, um, how do you say, uh, loose again in the neighborhood. That's all. <laughs> uh, a bandido, well, uh, uh, that, that means bandit, doesn't it? Oh, si, senor. And El Diablo means the devil. That's only an exaggeration, because he's only a minor bandit. Why, in his last raid, he only killed four people. Imagine that for a bandit. Only four. <laughs> <laughs> only four people. Well, <laughs> that's not much of a quota, is it? Oh, no, senor. Why, there are four of us here. He'd have to shoot all four of us, wouldn't he? Well, he, <laughs> he wouldn't have to. Dad! Dad! The servants just told me there's a bandit in the neighborhood. Oh, I'm so frightened. Oh, do 
not be afraid, senorita. The head of the household will protect us. Oh, I'm not going to let you face this bloodthirsty killer. We can go to Mexico City where it's safe. Well, I... Oh, perhaps it would be better, Senor Albright. We do not want to risk the lives of the women. Well, I, I suppose we should visit Mexico City while we're here. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I'm not letting any local two-bit wrestler scare me off. By every drop of my Texas blood would curdle in my veins. But, but Mrs. Odette, maybe Alfredo is right. It's, it's not that I'm frightened or anything, but I... Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Albright, you're not going to let Don Gregorio down, are you? Where's your Yankee fighting blood? Uh, Mrs. Odette, you're, you're absolutely right. It's a matter of honor. I must be true to the name of Albright. But, Dad, Dad, please. No, Margie. I owe it to Don Gregorio to defend his domain as he would himself. Atta boy, here's your shooting iron, Don Vernonio. Oh, hey! Mrs. Odette, I'd like to have a word with you. <laughs> El Diablo, eh? Senor? You might like some coffee. Perhaps later. Right now, the problem is, what are we going to do? That bandit routine still sounds good to me. What do you mean? Well, you set the stage, didn't you? Why don't you produce your bandits? You look like you got a little El Diablo in you, boy. <laughs> Mrs. Odette, as we don't say no, Mexico, you're a real gone gal. <laughs> okay, kiddies, I'll go down and start making your father nervous, which shouldn't be hard. Between me and you, I think the old boy is chicken. And if you see a skilo, tell him we'll meet him outside in a couple of minutes. Hey, ¿qué pasa? Skilo, buenas noches. ¿Cómo estás? Franco, I thought that you were in jail. Ah. In and out as always. I have come to beg for a tortilla and a few poor beans from the husband or the sister of my mother. Why don't you wait for your tortillas like any man with self-respect? I work when I can, Esquilo Mio, but there is so little employment for an old bandido these days. Paco, you are hopeless. Un momento, senor. For what are you dressed like this? You look like a bandido yourself. This is only for a joke. Don Gregorio's son wishes to fool the rich Americano who visits us. Rich Americano, huh? That is a good joke. Play a bandido like this. Si, si, but now I must meet the Guido's son. Adios. <laughs> Forgive me, husband of the sister of my mother. But as I say, there is a little employment for an old bandido these days. <laughs> I slide for bandidos, no? Who are you? Oh, I am known as Paco to my uncle Esquilo, who is the husband of the sister of my mother. Well, I don't understand. Where's Esquilo? Well, uh, uh, he lost his enthusiasm for the little joke. So, as a favor, I take his place. Esquilo's afraid my father might find out, I guess. Oh, then you, Senor Guido de San, huh? And who's this little muchacho? Too small for a bandido. <laughs> Caramba, she is a girl. She is the daughter of the man we're going to play the joke on. Now, come on, let's get going. You be El Diablo, so we won't have to talk. Ah, but un momentito, senores. Un momentito. Before we pretend to rob the hacienda, we should have what they call uh, uh, an inventory. Inventory? Seguro. Inventory. You know where all the valuable things are hidden. So I do not waste time. I wish to do a professional job. Well, there's the, uh, the family gold plate and, and the big cabinet. And my father's wearing a money belt that's loaded. <laughs> Boy, will he be fit to be tied. That's enough. The rest I make up as I go along. Now look, Paco, a lot depends on this, so try to make it look real, will you? Real? <laughs> it will be so real that you will believe in yourself. <laughs> 
sure that Margie's all right. Never mind her. Are you all right? Well, of course I'm all right. You'll see how I handle this El Diablo if, if he comes. Don't move! <laughs> One false move and you die, gringo. El Diablo has spoken. <laughs> Oh, oh, stop it. Cut that out. That tickles. That tickles. Do not feel the belt. Too much fat. Oh, stop it. Stop it, Uncle. <laughs> your money or your life, senora? Oh, so you want to flirt, huh? Okay, I'm always the gentleman. Now, see here, you've got all my money. Get out of here. Oh, hold your horses. Who's robbing this place, him or you? <laughs> Don't forget the gold plate. See, amigo, gracias. What about me, though? better help him so he won't get it out of shape. Your dad might get sore. Hey, be careful. <laughs> everything that was stolen, Don Gregorio. I am afraid that is not possible. The gold service was a family heirloom. And besides, this is the one to blame for. I will see that you get your reward, Guido. I already got mine. Boy, can that El Diablo kiss. <laughs> uh -huh. So the police caught you, eh? Sido Gregorio, an old bandido don't have chance anymore. The old days are gone. I guess I have to go to work. <laughs> hey, hey, where are you two going? Why, to change clothes, so we can go to the president's ball in Mexico City. We'll make it with a police escort. Be right back. <laughs> Wait a minute, boys. How about one for the road? Obrido, I think it all worked out real bueno. Mrs. Odets and I had a ball and you came home with a big contract. And a nice fresh crop of gray hair. Well, <laughs> that's my little Margie. <laughs> 